Parliamentary versus Presidential System of Government The choice of a system of government is a critical aspect of a nation's political framework. The two predominant systems are the parliamentary and presidential systems, each with distinct characteristics, advantages and disadvantages. This discourse will illuminate the key features of both systems, focusing on their structure, functions and implications for governance. 1. Definition and Structure Parliamentary system In a parliamentary system, the executive branch derives its democratic legitimacy from and is directly accountable to the legislature, parliament. The head of state, often a monarch or president, is separate from the head of government, the prime minister. The prime minister is typically the leader of the majority party in parliament and is supported by the council of ministers. Presidential system, in contrast, a presidential system features a clear separation of powers among the executive, legislative and judicial branches. The president is both the head of state and the head of government elected independently of the legislature. This system promotes a stronger executive role and is characterized by fixed terms for the president. 2. Relationship between the executive and legislature Parliamentary system The government is dependent on the confidence of the parliament. If the parliament passes a no-confidence motion against the prime minister or the cabinet, they must resign. This interdependence fosters collaboration but can lead to instability if coalition governments are weak. Presidential system, the president operates independently of the legislature, which can lead to a more stable executive. However, this separation can also result in gridlock, where the president and the legislature may have conflicting agendas and struggle to pass legislation. 3. Flexibility and Rigidity Parliamentary system, it allows for greater flexibility in governance. The Prime Minister can be changed without a general election, enabling parties to adapt to changing political climates. This can lead to more responsive governance. Presidential system The presidential system is typically more rigid due to fixed terms. A president cannot be easily removed before the end of their term, which can lead to prolonged periods of ineffective governance if the president is unpopular or faces significant opposition. 4. Political Accountability Parliamentary system, accountability is direct, as the Prime Minister and Cabinet are members of Parliament and answerable to it. This fosters a closer relationship between the executive and the electorate, as the government is constantly under scrutiny. Presidential system, while the president is accountable to the electorate through periodic elections, there can be a greater distance between the executive and legislative branches. This can sometimes dilute accountability, particularly if the president ignores the legislature's role. 5. Examples Parliamentary system, countries like the United Kingdom, India, Canada and Australia exemplify the parliamentary system. In these nations, the Prime Minister leads the government, which is formed by the party or coalition that holds the majority in the parliament. Presidential system, the United States, Brazil and Mexico are examples of presidential systems where the president is elected separately from the legislative body and holds significant power over the executive functions of government. 6. Conclusion both parliamentary and presidential systems have their merits and demerits. The choice between them often reflects a country's historical context, political culture and societal needs. While the parliamentary system promotes cooperation and accountability, it may also lead to instability. Conversely, the presidential system offers stability and a clear separation of powers but can lead to political stalemate. In the Indian context, the parliamentary system has facilitated coalition governance and adaptability, aligning with the country's diverse and pluralistic society.